Hey, Hardwood fans, Brad Appleton here with Steve Almonds. Nelsonville Lady Buckeyes season come to an end tonight. They lost 49-37 to against the, La the Valley Lady Indians. I mean, it was a close game until that fourth quarter when Valley kind of pulled away. How were they able to do it? Well, on paper, Valley was the much more experienced team, and it really showed there at the end of the game. They were able to get the Buckeyes to come unglued, forcing nine turnovers at that key stretch of the game and committing just one themselves. Also, players such as Whitney Bear had clutch baskets when they were open when they needed them, and that was a that let them secure the victory. Now, speaking of Bear, how did Nelsonville York do containing Whitney tonight? Well, they knew they were going to have their hands full. She's had a lot of big games, especially down here later in the season. They were able to do it early with their 2-3 zone, keeping her out of the middle. But then toward the end of the game, the Lady Indians started picking apart that zone, and she was able to get open. She ended up with a game-high 21 points. Now, Nelsonville York obviously had a young team this season, so what sort of outlook do the girls have going into next season? Well, if you're a Nelsonville fan, it's obviously a disappointing season there in wins and losses, but you've got to be encouraged with the performances such as freshman Angela Mead on the big stage for the first time, scoring 13 points. Megan Bishop had nine. That whole team just about is going to be back next year with the exception of a few seniors. So if you're a fan here of the Young Bucks and you're seeing stuff like this, you've got to be excited. But despite the roller coaster season, Coach Amanda Dalton had liked the direction the team had headed this year, and she had this to say after the game. I mean, I feel great about years to come. Uh, I don't know one thing for sure, though, is we got to work hard, and it's not going to be given to us. We've got to make sure we work hard in the off season. Our off season is going to be the big difference right now, and uh, if we don't get we don't get busy and get after it in the off season, we're going to have another season just like this. You know, we've got to work hard. We can't, we can't rely on what, can, what could happen. We've got to go out there and do it. All right, well, congratulations to the Lady Buckeyes on a completed season, and here's to wishing them a bright future ahead. So don't forget to tune in to our website throughout the week for more playoff game recaps, and don't forget to tune in to WOUB2 Sunday night at 6.30 for Hardwood Heroes.